Hey guys, what's up? Today we got a World Cup game between Stallion and Samkin. Stallion's on Team Oceana and Samkin's on Team US South. We got some pretty cool looking teams here. Both have Zero Aura, Clefable, and Toxpex, and Exedra. Wow. So it's just Cinderace versus. Oh, Cinderace versus a Volcarona and Mandibuzz versus Skarmory. It's pretty interesting. Anyway, turn one, we're going to see a Zero Aura leading to Cinderace. Cinderace is not going to be banded, so it's not going to be a one shot. And it doesn't want to take any chips. So we just see a Volt Switch from Zero Aura and the Clefable switch in. Probably going to be a more physically defensive Clefable, but. With that said, he might not want to stand here as the extra gets in for Stallion, which may very well invite in the Skarmory for Samkin. Volcarona does look pretty menacing here for Stallion if he's just subset, which is getting traction right now. In particular, there's a set that has a substitute and Eevee's Slivus Scald from Toxfix at plus one special defense, or Discharge from Heat at plus one special defense, or a foul play for Mandibuzz minus substitute, which is really cool, and that could come into play here against Pex. With that said, we're going to see just a casual Stealth Rock here, which means it's not Stealth Rock left, which could be telling. And then the Skarmory is going to come in and set up a spike. So looking at Samkin's team here, the Cinderace looks really good against the Stallion team, especially with any chip. Oh, and the Toxin demand was wow. That opens up the game for the Cinderace a ton. Powerball is able to 2 the entirety of the team besides Tox Specs, and they almost always are going to be running Zen Headbutt nowadays for Tox Specs. And it also gives you good neutral damage against things like Dragapult or super effective damage against Keldeo or Trachyon. With that said, we're going to see spikes laid up here as the Volcarona comes in for the Stallion side. That's undoubtedly going to force out the Skarmory from Stamkin. It's just a matter of what he goes to. He could go to the Toxpix here or to Cinderace, I'd imagine. He goes to the Cinderace aggressively. That's a good play. And Stallion Act likes to double to the Toxpix. I thought he would probably go for an attack there just to chip the Cinderace. So next time around a plus one attack could actually take it out. But it seems like Stallion wanted to go for a bit more of a progress-oriented play. He went to the Toxpix, but then he just recovers up scared of a Zen Headbutt. I can't help but disagree with that play. I think going for a knock or toxic spike or scald would have been better there. I don't think there was any world in which Samkin was going to click the Zen headbutt. It risks a ton. With that said, though, I understand the conservative hesitance in the early game. I, I think that from this point on, uh, the wish from the Fable is probably going to be intended to heal up the X drill because sending in the Cinderace on a knockoff could potentially be a death sentence and it looks so good in this game. As for Stallion's position here, I think that he's in okay shape. I just think that he's going to have to make the most of the Volcarona. That is a very helpful aromatherapy there, and you don't see that a ton of balance teams. The Extral is going to remain um, unscathed, though. He gets a rapid spin-off on top of that, and the Man Buzz is at 68%, and this also is Toxic. Toxic is increasingly common on Extral here. You tend to not run both Rapid Spin and Stealth Rock, so the thing is Stealth Rock is... Wait, is it Stealth Rock plus Rapid Spin plus Toxic? Or is it Stealth Rock on the Skarm? Where the hell are Stealth Rock? Is this not Earthquake or not Iron Head on the drill? I guess dropping Iron Head would be okay with a Cinderace and the Pex. Wow, um, it's a Focus Blast Zero Aura predicting the drill here, and he misses as the Clefable comes in. It could be a fully special Zero Aura, which is a pretty cool set that's been seeing some usage here. It's probably going to be Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Focus Blast, and Grass Knot, which is somewhat effective. It is able to kill things like um, hmm, Physical Defensive Tox Specs from a higher health and also, it's able to do a lot of damage with Focus Blast against specific Pokemon like Physically Defensive Ferrothorn and the occasional Extra Drill. Although Extra Drill probably dies to close combat as well. I think it's a roll with some HP investment, which I've been using lately, but yeah. And on top of that, what's more important is Volt Switch is doing more damage because Volt Switch is just great on Cinderace or on, on Zero Aura right now. And I just think it's a really cool set in the current metagame, but 38 with Volt Switch to Volcarona is a lot of damage. It puts it in likely Pyro Ball range, which is really helpful for Samkin here as he's going to have to withstand a plus one attack from the Volcarona and kill back if he wants to have a good chance here. Anyway, let's wait and see what happens. I'd imagine to play here from Stallion is simply to switch out, but maybe he feels differently. Maybe he's okay trading the chip on this Cinderace. However, it's worth knowing that Zizical Fable is a wish variant, so I don't know if any chip is going to be even sticking. And I don't think letting go of this Volcarona, I don't think this is the right hill to die on. And he feels differently. He goes for the Psychic, and oh my god, it lives a Pyro Ball. That is a very physically bulky Volcarona. Um, I'd imagine that this is not Sucker Punch here. I think that Psychic is the play here from Stallion. I think the play for the Stallion side is simply to go for Psychic. He's going to go drill on the Psychic. Okay. Is he going to let it die to the Fiery Dance? Or is he going to say, okay, I'm hoping it's sub over Roost and just a bulky set and go to the Toxpex. He goes Toxpex here on the Fiery Dance. Okay, that's going to do... 19 is going to raise. It's not going to raise. It's really good for Samkin. It's, um, it is Roost. It's going to be Haze or Toxic. He goes, not, oh, no. That is not what the good news. That is not good news. He does knock off the boots, but he doesn't get a Toxic or a Haze off. All of a sudden, it looks as if this Volcarona is going to do quite nicely here. Um, I guess he wanted to kill it immediately. 
but I don't love that knock. If he has Toxic or Haze, I think those are the priority. I think this might leave him a little bit behind. Um, now it's a question of just the Volk. And if the Volk roosts up here, it does have aromatherapy in the back. And he also goes for 64% Psychic on the Haze. But nothing is stopping it from going for another Quiver Dance. I think Stallion is in an amazing position. And Stallion coming out of nowhere from being a seemingly unknown DPP player is now potentially going to be able to upset not only Tomahome, but also rising star Samkin, who has played really well in his first two games, but unfortunately fell short against Tomahome due to some unfortunate luck. And again, that couldn't bring to your channel, but definitely check out the replay and the logs and replays thread. Anyway, um, this Volcarona looks really menacing, guys. It is weakened here, and the Cinderace is a threat, but with the tox... Oh, it's actually still toxic. Okay, um... So yeah, th there is not not all hope is lost here. I go Zen Headbutt, and he goes Pyro Ball. Oh, man. I guess he was scared of Volk staying in, but nah, I, I think that Zen Headbutt was a bit better. I don't see any world where it goes to the Poison Mandibuzz. I think that Tox specs was his play. Bait the Zen Headbutt and then double to Mandibuzz to try and kill it with Foul Play if he has it. But I understand that why... He, okay, now he's going to go to it on the U-turn. Okay, that's a lot of chip on the Mandibuzz. That's going to also allow in the Zero Aura here. Zero Aura can probably click Volt Switch into the Clefable and then let the Cinderace come back in. And all of a sudden, the entirety of Stallion's team is in 2 kill range. So that could be a progress-oriented sequence for Samkin if he elects to proceed in that fashion. And Volt Switch may very well take out a physically defensive Mandibuzz, which U-turn damage is indicating that it's more likely than not going to be. Digging a bit deeper, I also think the extra drill from Samkin looks really good here with this being poisoned and low. However, it's not going to be an offensive one. In fact, it might not even be offensively EV'd as it's... Oh, 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 it's... Oh my god, it's combined. Wait a minute. Focus Blast connects. Okay, if this speed tie is won by Samkin, this is very dangerous. But as I was saying before, I'm not sure what the drill set is, but it's always at least revenge kill. Oh, and he loses the tie. That sucks. Yeah. It does connect. It's not Grass Knot, I guess. Okay, it's, it's, okay, it's Volt Switch plus Thunderbolt. Alright, so let's look at this position here. If this is Teleport Clef, not all hope is lost. Focus Blast kills the Drill. Thunderbolt might kill the Pex plus one. Kills the Mana Buzz. It kills the Volk from this health, so it's just Drill. But on this topic, is the opposing Drill Stealth Rock? Because if he can get that up, and the Mana Buzz can stay threatened because it's low, then all of a sudden... Okay, he goes Clef. I think you have to switch out here. I think you have to go for the Volt Switch, which is actually really good because it's going to do about half health to this Clefable. So it being combined Volt Switch is coming in handy here for sure. Now the question is, if you're Stallion, do you go Soft Boiled? Do you go Stealth Rock? No, he's not Stealth Rock. He's Stealth Rock on Drill. Hmm. I think he's inclined to go for the Soft Boiled here. Okay. Does Sam can dare risk Thunderbolting? Because Thunderbolt might do 60%. If you do 60%, you leave it at 12%, it heals up at 62%, and then, you know, it's a roll to two Kyao. Does he try and predict that and get fancy here, or does he simply go for the straightforward Volt Switch note, okay, I can get my Zero Aura in again. I think if it's Wish Plus Teleport on Clefable, then he's more inclined to go for the Volt Switch, but if not, then I think it's actually a genuine discussion. Does he try and... Oh, he doesn't even go for the Volt? What? I'm confused. Why didn't he go for the Volt Switch? Am I missing something? It's not Scarf Drill. If he was, he would have went to it. What? Huh? That is... I, I must be missing something. Please correct me in the comments, guys. What am I missing? Well, okay, either way, he goes for the Zen Headbutt here. It do Okay, Roses just said I can't tell you either. No one is sure what happened. But he did get the right play here. Maybe he forgot he was Volt Switch. That could have been it. I'm not too sure. I'll definitely have to ask him afterwards, but... Regardless of that, the Cinderace comes in, it gets, it goes for a Zen Headbutt, and it actually two kills the Pex, the Pex stays in, and all of a sudden, the Cinderace does look like it's doing really well. However, it's going to have to suffocate this Mandibuzz, as the Mandibuzz is at 50% poison, but it can kill it with a single foul player knockoff. So knowing that, Samkin's going to go for the U-turn on this turn, likely bringing in the Clefable or the Zero Aura, just to try and, you know, salvage the position. Although I wouldn't sh shame him for going extra. Okay, he goes... He goes there on Aura here. That's really smart. And now hopefully he'll notice that he has the Volt Switch and go for it. I guess he's scared of the, the extra coming in because it should live a Focus Blast at plus zero. But he goes Drill here on the... Did he go Combined? He goes for... Oh my god. And it crits and kills. What a play. What a play. Wow. 
great play there for Samkin, going for that focus blast and nailing the drill. And all of a sudden, it looks like he's definitely in the driver's seat. He gets the aromatherapy off. He is in Stallion, but Samkin is definitely looking good here. He's either going to go for rocks here, predicting the uh, stay-in slash mandibuzz, or go for earthquake, predicting the local runner, presumably. I think that the play for Stallion is to actually stay in and go for a wish, maybe? Or go in mandibuzz. I'm not really sure. But wow, this was a really nicely done mid-game from Samkin. I definitely respect how he approached this. It was a bit of an awkward early sequence. I'm not sure what the full tax spec set is, but damn, I, I think that was amazing. Anyway, um, nice play with Death Blast. Yeah, I agree. And Stallion is a really good dude, um, for those of you who don't know. He's been around forever, and he's honestly always been a great dude. He tends to play DPPO use, so seeing him in this tier is really interesting. But the Ocean guys, they tend to stick together. And it's definitely nice to culture that they've forged. I'm hoping that they're able to do well this World Cup, but it's still, you know, hard to see because there's so many games remaining over the last day. So, yeah, and some big K. I guess that's like the little, like, West Circle Jerk meme. So, Samkin's on um, US South, but they're kind of, like, have some camaraderie going, camaraderie going on between Stallion and them. Anyway, um, unfortunately, the Focus Blast crit didn't matter, but I don't think it was a Scarf Drill. Um, oh, my, oh, 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 it's a modest Zara Aura. Oh, well, damn. I guess he did bring a big K, the biggest of stones indeed. Uh, yeah, a nice little friendly banter there, but it's looking really good for Samkin. He's able to take a much needed game for US South, who I believe was all the way down to 6 and 10 earlier now. To be fair, not only did Sam get pretty unlucky in his game earlier today, but also they got unlucky in a couple other games. They could just as easily be 8 and 8. So South is definitely down, but not out. They've got a lot of really good players, like my friend Ewan Mortis, who plays Manat tomorrow. Again, I'm hoping to bring to their channel, and also other friends of mine. So it's going to be really interesting to see if they can mount a comeback. I think it'd be really cool. My team actually came back today from being down 4 7, and I won. Then, unfortunately, Star got pretty unlucky, but we then won our next like three or four games, and now we're 8 and 8. So. It's really cool that we've managed to come back ourselves. I'm looking forward to my brothers in U.S. South hopefully doing the same. And Samkin is really leading the way as a newer player. As Volk comes in here on the Iron Head, it's going to live the Iron Head and get Flame Body. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is all hope lost or not? Is he going to do... I think he just goes toxic. Just, this drill might be quicker than the Volk. That did 18%. 18% from an extra Iron Head to stab a Volcarona. That has to be a slower Volk. I think you just go toxic here. Now, there is Aromatherapy on Clef, but there is Cinderace, which should have Gunk Shot in the last slot, and the ability to kill a Clef from 653 with ease. So, here's my question. Do you go for the Toxic here? Or do you go hard Cinderace on the... No, you can't go Cinderace. It's too weakened. Hmm. I'm trying to think. This is 99% Wish. If it's Protect, then after a Toxic, it 1v1 is Volcarona. If... It's Teleport Clef. I think Samkin wins at least 90% of the time, basically giving that he hits Toxic here. But if it's not, I don't know. Is Samkin just not using rocks in this team, by the way? I'm trying to figure that out. Is it rocks, Wish, Softboiled, Moonblast, Clef? Wait, he goes Mandibuzz into Earthquake? Did it die to Earthquake? Was he slower after all? I guess it died to Earthquake. Okay. Yeah, you know, if Iron Head is doing 18 before burn, then Earthquake is doing probably 25 after burn. So, I think that makes sense. But that's really, really good for Samkin. As, um... Well, I don't know about that Earthquake, but... I guess he's just selling Toxic turns. That's really good for Samkin because that means that the Volk is going to be really stripped to set up. And if he forces some Poison turns out of this, he could actually potentially just win the game with Cinderace or Zero Aura if he plays his cards well enough. Yeah, it's not going to be max speed Volk, though. Uh, it can't be, because this is that sequence. So, yeah, Foul Play here. Okay, it's Foul Play. This is 46% here, so it's a bulkier drill, I guess. Anyway, we've seen Earthquake on the Roost. Yeah, good plays all around. I personally would be going for Iron it here. I guess he wants to die, though? I'm not too sure. I mean, why would you go for Earthquake over Iron it here? Yeah, he goes Iron it now. I guess the damage is really marginal, but... I mean, you're leaving the Volk at literally 5%, and you're doing more to the Clef. Anyway, this lets the Zero Aura come in now. I think you just go for the uh, the Thunderbolt. If you ha Does it have Thunderbolt? Sure, it has Thunderbolt, right? I think Samkin can clinch this game with Thunderbolt here, because it either kills the Mandibuzz, or kills it after Poison, or it tool kills the Clef, or it kills the Volk. Let's say it kills the Volk here. 
if he goes clef, then all of a sudden you just keep this in until it dies. And then if you hit gunk shot, you should be able to win the game because it two kills the mana buys and it kills the clef. Alternatively, if he fires off of this, then if Syndra hits twice, it wins the game. If he fires off clef, well, if he goes clef, then everything's just dying and the game ends. So, yeah. I, I think that Sam can clinches this game now unless he gets unlucky with Cinderace accuracy. The question is, is he going to try and get cute and go for a sequence in which he doesn't risk the accuracy? And if that's the case, is he going to trip himself up trying? In which case, that could be a potential win route for Stallion if there's a massive, massive choke here. But I don't think Samkin's doing that. He's taking his time to really think this through. And I definitely respect the time that he's taking it over the sequence here. So hopefully he comes up with the optimum play, which I think is just to click Thunderbolt, right? Does he have Thunderbolt in the last slot? I mean, what else could it be? It is indeed Thunderbolt. It just takes it out. Yeah. So now he's going to go Clef. The question is, I think Volt Switch clinches the game too. If you Volt Switch and you go Cinderace, if he kills it with Moonblast, which I don't even know always kills him 23%, then you just go to this and it's a 2 and KO. Thunderbolt kills after Volt Switch, presumably. Alternatively, though, you can um, just go Thunderbolt here and just let it heal up and then you just got to hit Gunshot. I think Volt Switch actually might be better because you don't risk missing as much. Yeah. Well, you do is missing if he goes for a recovery move, but you don't if he goes Moonblast. And Moonblast obviously kills his arrow aura, so I wouldn't fault Stallion for going for that. This is a game, you know, it's pretty much just trying to find the best odds for your opponent to choke and, you know, just kind of a crapshoot. So, yeah. Anyway, we see the Thunderbolt here. Yeah, that's fair. He goes Softbolt. Does he go Volt Switch here? No, it should be Tokyo now. I wonder if he's just going to go Thunderbolt again. I mean, this is all assuming it's going Shot Cinderace, which is like the set that's in right now, quote unquote in. So it could be an alternative set. We see 30% Thunderbolt there and another soft boil. Okay, that brings the clef up to 92%. That is really good. If it's wish port, wait, it's not wish port. Never mind, it's wrong with that. But he wishes here. Okay, I think we just see a moon blast here. Or maybe we see a soft boil bring up the fall. And then he's just going to stop the Thunderbolt PP between wish and, and soft boils and hope he doesn't get paralyzed. And then try and like dodge a hit from Cinderace. I don't know. Hmm. We see a combine here onto the soft buzz. That's a great play there from Samkin. And now he's going to be able to force it to be in potential pyro ball range. I don't know. I think it's still, like, you still got to go for gunk shot though. So here comes the moment of truth. Is he going to hit the gunk shot? If so, that should be able to cl clean up the game if the sin race is accurate enough. If not, then it could be a really problematic end game here. Well, here comes, is Cinderace going to miss? Cinderace has missed time after time after time again. It's what cost Samkin his first game. It really has to hit here for South of... Wait, he's so... Why would he so foiled? Did Moonblast not kill? I guess it didn't. I guess it didn't. But can't Gunkshot kill this from fall? Hold up. Hold up. What is the cleft spread? Do we know the cleft spread? This is huge, guys. This is huge. What's going to happen here? Is he going to try? Is it knocked? It's not knocked. You win anyway, though, right? Oh, boy. If I hit. So, yeah, he thinks it kills. If it's adamant Cinderace, which, in my opinion, I prefer, but it's hard because there are a lot of other Cinderace that you kind of want to outspeed, so. Hmm. All right, well, here comes Accuracy Roulette round two. Um. Oh, my God. It missed again, and you live with 1%. This is crazy. Everyone's going, well, it hits. It hits and it kills. It hits and it kills. One more hit with Zen Headbutt or Pyro Ball, and Samkin's going to win the game for US South. It all comes down to this. Here it comes, and he connects. Thank God. What a game. Came down to the absolute wire. A great game. Well played by Samkin. An absolutely insane ending, guys. All right, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day, guys. Peace out.